what's good everybody welcome back to another video today we're in gt online and i got one or two tips for beginner players when i mean beginner players i mean players that just started out like finished the main cutscene with lamar and stuff and they just started out so i got a couple tips for you guys and something um, these will uh, truly help you out to be honest with you so uh make sure like subscribe you know, turn the post notification, drop a comment, let me know what, uh, you'll, uh, <laughs> God damn it. Let me know what else you would like to see over here, man. So, uh, let's begin. So, first of all, one important thing that I feel everybody should have is snacks. If you don't have snacks, then if you're in a gunfight with, like, enemies or player, then you're practically dead because you cannot heal up. If you don't have armor, then you're screwed because, well... You need snacks to heal. God damn it. Anyway, um, and to get snacks, you, you have to buy it. But you can actually get snacks for free. And to actually get snacks for free, you can actually get from your agency over here. You can actually get from your agency. Uh, I believe you can get from here, uh, auto shop, and you can get from your arcade. But the freeway since you don't have all those things is over here at the dealership so you come to the dealership you go in the dealership and if you see here you just walk up here and you can get yourself snacks for absolutely free so uh, I feel like that's actually pretty useful and a lot of you guys that actually use it so um, yeah let's uh, go ahead and move on to the next one okay so let's say you guys are just riding around you're just taking a little stroll you know testing out your new bike and your car or whatever and you're in a public lobby and then all of a sudden you see this guy just come up with you with a tank or uh what you call it tank and uh what the hell do you call that flying thing again i forgot uh a presser you see someone come up with a presser and they try to kill you one thing that i recommend you do is you open your menu and you go down here to this thing over here and what it uh, does is it basically gets rid of like just turns off like uh how do i explain it it um stops you from getting shot but here's the thing you won't be able to shoot back so basically if you won't get shot you cannot shoot back so basically you'll be safe for as long as you want so you put that on you can ride your bike your car around test it out you know go on the meet or whatever it is and you won't have to worry about the dudes or the oppressors or tanks or whatever it is so um yeah that is that i know it's pretty short it's just two basic things i think feel like you guys would uh need in my opinion because trust me i i've learned the hard way so just giving you guys a heads up but anyway uh i'll definitely make a part two of this and um i'll see you guys in the next one